वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल पावर ऑटोमेट ट्यूटोरियल वी विल सी हाउ टू क्रिएट कैलेंडर इवेंट फ्रॉम सेपरेट लिस्ट यूजिंग पावर ऑटोमेट बेसिकली वी विल क्रिएट द कैलेंडर इवेंट इन आउटलुक सो इट विल लुक लाइक दिस नॉट लेट सी और एग्जाम्पल ऑन दिस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू क्रिएट अवर सेपरेट लिस्ट वेयर यूजर विल fill the serpent list form and submit it then the flow will trigger so before we start creating our flow we must create our serpent list our serpent list is meetings where we will store the meetings and the meeting date meeting um, meeting end date meeting location meeting attendees meeting description and who is the organizer of the meeting so this this is my sharepoint list now let's move to our power automate so here the, this is a automated cloud flow and this flow will trigger when an item is created in the sharepoint list when item is created in the sharepoint list the meeting will go for approval to the organizer once the organizer will approved we will create an event and at last inform the organizer that the event you approved has been successfully scheduled this is the trigger action when an item is created in the sharepoint list this will send an approval to the organizer and then here we are formatting the date and time that is coming for sharepoint uh, list and um, similarly we um, formatting the end date time and then we check the outcome of the approval if it is approved then we will create an event and we will send an email to the organizer so trigger action needs site address and list name and uh, start and wait for an approval take the approved type here we have used approve slash reject first to respond title you just keep the title of your sharepoint uh, list this column this is the title column you need to provide over there and then assign to it is assigned to the meeting organizer name here we have using the dynamic content you can use here from you will search here then it will show me here you can see meeting organizer email then compose here we are formatting the date time using format date time function and we are passing the output of the when an item is created and when an item is created start time that is this one sorry this one meeting date next uh, similarly we are formatting the end date time and then come to the condition part if we are here we are passing the outcome of the approval that is from dynamic content is equal to approve if it is equal to approve then it will create an event in the outlook so for that you have to write here calendar or you can choose from here then provide the subject of the event and start time end time which here we have formatted and we have here we have used that output of the compose similarly for end time and then time zone you have to change as per your requirement then we will send an email to the organizer so here we have to pass the organizer email then subject then body of the email so now let's run the flow and test it how it works so for that you have we are manually testing the flow so click on test now let's create an event we will select the meeting date next let's say meeting date is 5th and uh, you can choose the time as well and uh, then meeting end date also 5 and the time will be 3 pm and choose your meeting location as well let's choose here i am randomly choosing you can change 
meeting attendees. This is the person column. So here, if we write, it will populate us the name of the employee who are working in our organization. So let's add Chandrika. Others and meeting description here you can add meeting description and leaving it and then the meeting organizer I'm passing my name so I can show you the email as well Hari Priyadhar and now save the form now you can see here the new item is created in the separate list now let's move to ours it will take a while, so I am pausing the video. So here I got an approval. You can check in your Teams as well as in Outlook. So here I am approving it. I am just writing the comment. I will attend the meeting. Now the response successfully recorded. You can see here our flow ran successfully. Here the compose starting date is 5, 7, which we have chosen. And here we have created the reach. Now let's check the event is created or not successfully. The date is 7 to 7. So here go to your calendar just to read these names. So here just choose your calendar okay come to here here you can see weekly review 4 30 the organizer is hari priyadhal if we'll hover over and you can see here can the location the time and it will run to 4 30. this is how we can create calendar event using power automate that's all for today so subscribe to our channel and share our video if you like it thanks for watching